We are alive and kicking this morning, right? So today I'm going to show you how I finally cook my fermented Hauza Coco mix. So I have been bringing you how I prep the Hauza Coco, um, how I spice it. I'm using sorghum, so it looks pink. It doesn't look the gray that you know. Um, so they in the in Ghana, in the north, they do use these, um, this type as well, sorghum. If you don't have millets, finger millets, which is the gray one, you can use sorghum. The taste is slightly different um, because sorghum is a bit different. It's not as silky smooth like you get with the finger millets, the gray one. But it's also equally good and very nutritious. So you can, if you've got sorghum, you can find, if you're in London, you can find sorghum and even millets, the gray millets from the Asian shops. So there's no excuse, okay? And you can also use um, our local, you know, our mori, which is corn, the corn dough that we use for banku. You can use that. Use the same process with the spices and you get your mori coco, spicy mori coco. That is, that is one that I love so much because it is, it is really, really tasty. So I am going to start with, so you can see my, my, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the, it has fermented, my Hausa coco mix has fermented. You can see all these bubbles. I keep, um, skimming it off you don't really want that because when it boils you it is just going to foam up and you don't want that in your cocoa okay so i am um, i want to show you what has happened so i've kept it in the fridge the last time if you watch the other video you would have seen that i said i will keep it in the fridge to slow down the fermentation so yes i did but it is still fermenting. I don't know if you can see the bubbles. You can see, yes, it is quite live. So this is good bacteria in here, okay? So what you want to do is, to, you don't want to mix it up, okay? You want to take some of this water and use that to, you boil that. So you use that as your mix, so your water mix. So I'm going to get it from the fire and start to boil it. And then I've got my, my bain marie. I'm preparing my bain marie. So my bain marie, I've got a bowl that it can sit in, in, in a, a, a pot comfortably without touching the bottom. And what you do is you boil water. So I've got my kettle um, boiling with water. So I'm just going to add that just enough to be able to heat up my my glass bowl without touching the bottom. So I've got that there. Before I add, I put that on because um, I'm going to take some of, scoop some of this. Look at the goodness, the cocoa mix, okay. So today I'm going to show you two ways you can make your house that cocoa. So I'm going to use one scoop. I'm just cooking one for now and one tip you should have at this point is you need to have this at room temperature so i've taken it out of the fridge for about an hour but it's still cold so what i need to do i want to do is to put it on here so it sits comfortably without touching the bottom and warm it up whilst whilst my water is warming up in here all right so this is one method i'm going to once this has boiled the water has boiled i'm going to add it in here and cook my hausa cocoa till you know it's it's nice and good so unfortunately i have kind of mixed up this what you want to do is to try and keep the water. If you need more water, you can take some, but I have, I think I will need more water, but that's fine. I'll just use plain water um, if I need to, to, 
to losing up my house of cocoa. So I'm going to show you another method, a quick method using the microwave. Just in case you are in a rush in the morning and you don't want to go through this process, all you do is you take, so you take a mix. You want so you, if I had the layer of water at the top, I would have scooped some of that water in my bowl, and I would have scooped some of the thick um, dough mix into this bowl as well to create a nice um, porridge mix. So I'll just do this, okay? And I'm going to put this in the microwave and we'll see what happens. I will microwave it for about three minutes. So that's it, y'all. Whilst that is microwaving, this is boiling. I'll move my camera closer so you see. You can keep the rest of this in your fridge for the whole week if you want to use it. If you've got, if you live alone and um, or you you just you know you're cooking for yourself, not everybody in the family may like it. So if you're just cooking for yourself, you just take scoops at a time or how much you need at a time and you can put the rest in the fridge and I think it will last for about a week if um, if you think you're not going to use it within a week I'm sure when you freeze it it will it will be good when you need it you can just defrost it and it is good to to make your house a cocoa anytime any day in my um, liquid boiling beautifully there's not much foamy stuff on the top because I scooped most of it out but it is boiling beautifully and this is the time I am going to take it what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this oh, I'll just keep it here All right. so I'll switch it off you can still see in here so which is good and I'll add it to my mix here and just stay so I like to do this on the Ban Marie because sometimes the pot you are using does not retain the heat so it doesn't cook your house cocoa through and sometimes if you don't get the water and mix ratio right you find that you add your boiled water and your house cocoa will still not be cooked so when you do it over the Ban Marie it ensures that your bowl your bowl is nice and warm so your porridge is cooking I'll move it closer to this to this banner so you can see you can see what's going on much closer yeah there we go so you can see the thickness how lovely this is so with Hausa Cocoa, you don't really want to, it, it's not a thoroughly cooked um, porridge. So, you know, normally we, we just cook it. Normally we just cook it um, like cooking, making porridge, corn porridge. And you lose the, the true authentic taste because it cooks cooks through so if you cook it like porridge um, you shouldn't let it cook through totally all right so i'm going to show you my <laughs> my other one that i put in in the in the microwave so here we go so that for three minutes it has overcooked you need about like a minute or two this is overcooked so you just it, it's so quick you just do about a minute is more than enough all right so this is for your quick your quick your quick microwavable one so I've, I've added some more um, raw one and I'm just mixing it up 
to give me the authentic Ideally, what you want to do is, okay, I'm going to throw this away because doing two things at the same time ain't good, is it? <laughs> okay, you, you just need like a minute or so to cook it, not three minutes, no, it's just too much. I've done it three minutes with a much, um, much more quantity, a much greater quantity than what I, I put in there. So yes, that was too much. So I would advise that depending on the quantity you're using, you go about three, one a minute at a time to get your, so this is my house of cocoa. It's a little bit too thick and it thickens as it's, it's, um, it stays, it sits, it sits. So I've turned off the heat. The heat is going to cook it further. I'm going to loosen it up with a bit more water because I don't want it too thick. And this is the beauty of cooking at home. You can make it to your choice of thickness. You can make it very thick. Some people like very thick porridge. Or you can make it nice and loose to suit. Okay. And one thing I like about doing this Ban Marie method is it doesn't form that layer of um, hardness when you leave it. It's, it is still nice and beautiful when you come back even the next day. You leave it out on your, um, on your stove top, you put it in the fridge, you, you put it in the fridge, you cover it up. It is still, it will still be so, so beautiful. Nice and silky like this. All right. So I'm going to try the microwave one again. It, it does work. So I'll, I'll give it, we'll take some more. Fantastic. I'll take some more and then we will give it a minute at a time. And you see how quick you can use your microwave to do it. Again, I mean, it doesn't give you a hundred percent like this unless you you know you kind of do not cook it through or you keep an eye on it so it doesn't cook through okay so how's the cocoa is done it doesn't take that long to to cook it and if let's say you were going to work and you needed you needed to take this porridge you can as it is have it in your flask or bowl when you get to work warm it up a little bit in the microwave and you are good to go eat it with your you know if you're lucky to have some buffroot or bread i love it with tea bread or butter bread. oh yes some butter bread with some <laughs> nice lovely butter so this is it Okay, I'm going to take two, two scoops. Now I, I did one scoop before and that three minutes was just too much for it. So I'm doing two scoops with one minute and we will be back. <coughs> So in the meantime, I'll serve up my Hausa cocoa. Well, I need to keep an eye on my microwaveable one. Not good to try and multitask. Because with a microwave one, you can also actually get it to be quite uncooked. So long as you keep an eye on it. All right. So I'm keeping an eye on my the one in the microwave so it doesn't cook through too much. So 
I've stopped at it's almost halfway through the the one minute. Still going, not one minute is still not up yet. So I'm I'm guessing a minute and a half will get this cooked. But yes, you can use your microwave to cook your house up as well. So this is after one minute, it's still not cooked, so we'll give it another minute, but I'm sure a minute and a half will we'll cook it. So yes, our house of cocoa is ready, just look at that, it's ready, so I'm going to serve it up. To our microwavable one this is 30 seconds not the full minute so this is a minute and half and I think this is good anymore you get a really cooked through house of cocoa you may not want this all right this is as good as the the one I cooked in the bain marie just look at that Yes, so you can use your, if you are in a hurry and let's say you're going to work, you can actually scoop some of the mix, put it in your bowl when you get to work, so long as you've got um, a microwave at work, a minute and a half, depending on the quantity, it depends on your quantity you've got, but I'll say give it a minute at a time and cook it through, so that is also cooked for your house of cocoa. Yes. Perfect. Right. So yes, I'm going to serve up my house of cocoa. Just what I need this morning to start off my day. And I'm going to, how do you like your house of cocoa? Do you add uh, um, evaporated milk? I almost said ideal milk. <laughs> it gave me a way that I'm really from Ghana. So I like it with a bit of, uh, let me move things back. I like it with a bit of milk, evaporated milk and nuts when I've got it. So we've got our two options, a microwavable one, our Ban Marie cooked house of cocoa, and our, well, our bowl is ready. And we are serving it up with some milk, some sugar. Sometimes I use honey, but in these times of lockdown, I've run out of honey, so, I am just going to have plain sugar and luckily
lastly, I've got some toasted coconut, which I love in there. It gives that crunch. I love the crunch that it adds to it. So this is my sugar going in there. Oh, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> okay, and we will have our milk and some toasted coconuts. And there we have it. How's that cocoa? made in your home this is how zakoko made with sorghum and it is equally delicious and nutritious research um, about sorghum and you find how nutritious it is millet is also equally nutritious and the spices we add the fermentation that it goes through um I would say in these times, you need to be eating more fermented stuff because it builds bacteria that is good for your gut and it's, it is just, it is just um, great. So this is our micro, uh, microwaved house cocoa, perfect as well. This is for busy people. You want to make a quick one for work. It is easy to do it. Okay, so one thing I have noted about adding um, evaporated milk to the cocoa is that after a while, if you don't eat it quickly, it goes, it becomes really runny. So when you add your your um, evaporated milk, make sure you are just about to dig in. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this live cooking series. If you have, give us a thumbs up and like, share. And tell everybody you know about this channel. I'll be bringing you more of my live um, cooking that I used to do on Instagram. That is more on my daily cooking um, meals. So I'm bringing it on here for my YouTubers. Because one thing is, on YouTube, it is here forever on instagram it is it disappears within 24 hours and we lose all those recipes so yes we are here on youtube to stay so do tell all your friends and do join in thank you so much and see you next time